What? You never heard of Cove? You know it's loud, right? So right here, I got Cove's wireless Bluetooth speaker called the Commuter. And for being its size, it packs a lot of sound. Let me show you guys. A single charge to the 4,000 milliamp battery will give you eight hours of superior audio quality. And on top of that, that's a subwoofer on the bottom. Yes, I said it, subwoofer on the bottom. So it sounds freaking amazing. With Bluetooth 4.2, you can connect to your phone, your tablet, your PC, and walk as far as 30 feet without getting any kind of interruptions to your music. Another awesome thing about the Cove commuter is that it has a water resistant rating of IPX4, which means it could take a lot of splash damage. Cove commuter has two modes, one being indoor, which is normal, and the second one is outdoor, which is more bass. So no matter where you use the Cove commuter, you will have a great experience. Don't have Bluetooth? Cove also included a 3.5 millimeter aux cable for wired audio. This thing has a built-in mic, so when the party's over, connect it to your smartphone and get back to business. Regular price for the Cove commuter is $199.99, so use my discount code, guys. Get it for $70 today. Link in the description below. With that being said, huge thanks to Cove for sponsoring today's video. I got a lot of things planned today, so let's get today's video started. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I told you guys I'm gonna hop back on this grind, but uh, today is gonna be a very, very interesting day because about, I wanna say, two months ago, I bought a hood vent from Fine Line Tuning, which is the same place where I bought my uh, D-Max kit. It finally came in and uh, here's how it looks like. So, hey Roy, stop it, I'm vlogging. I've seen a lot of people buy this hood vent and uh, what they did is they kind of just place it on top and somehow kind of just attach it to the hood. But I don't want to do that. I want to cut the hood, insert it from the bottom, and then do some bondo so it could look like it's one piece. But it's really big. Like, you see these little grooves on the hood? The vent actually goes past that. So, I don't know. I got some tape right here. I'm going to tape up this area, do some measurements. I'm just going to cut it. Fuck it. Crossing my fingers, I hope it turns out nice. All right, got the hood covered up with tape. Yes, it's a little uneven, but that's not the actual size of the vent. I made it a little bit bigger, so I got room to play with. But uh, I guess I'm gonna place the vent on top of the tape now and then make my measurements, as I guess. Just start cutting. <laughs> Jeez. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna cut while the hood's on the car. We're, we're gonna take it. I'm gonna take it over there and cut it. I'm really nervous because I only have one hood. I only have one Sylvie hood, and it took me a while to find this hood as well. So I guess it's time to make my marks. Got the Sharpie right there, so let's, let's just do it. All right, so I made some adjustments. The little grooves on the hood. Uh, originally, I had the vent all the way down here, but this piece right here of the vent was kind of just going over. So I pushed it back a little bit, and now the grooves right here and back here are lining up. So I think it'll be a lot easier installing it. So, so hopefully me pushing the vent back won't look too bad. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, sick. Oh yeah. Whew, well damn. I guess I got more metal to, oops. I guess I got more to freaking cut. Fuck. Oh, 
All right, guys, so... No turning back. I guess we are gonna, just gonna have to clean the edges a little bit. I have a filer somewhere. And then I see some silicone bits and whatever. Those are coming off as well. I'm gonna take a break. Just cut myself right now. Ow. Let's do a test fit real quick and see how it looks. All right, so when your dog doesn't want to help you with your race car, you improvise. All right, so I feel like I made the cut. I hope I didn't make the cut too big. All right. All right well, back, and forward. Let's make some adjustments. Well, well, to be honest, not bad. This fucking first try. Uh, hell yeah, man. Woo. Let me know what you guys think so far. Okay, got our file. I'm just gonna clean the edges real quick uh, so I don't cut myself and just so it could look a little bit nicer. Okay guys, so as I was cleaning the edges, I noticed that there's a lot of rust and I'm taking care of that right now. So if you guys ever see any little hints of rust, take care of it as soon as possible and you guys see any bare metal, spray it down with something. Uh, to prevent rust or to protect the bare metal from the elements because these things will spread around like freaking herpes. All right, just got back from Home Depot and I got the goods. Hopefully, I got the right thing. It's like eight times strong. It's for metal and shit like that. So I think this will work. Got the caulking gun. So since I don't have an extra hand here, I'm gonna try to put the hood on top of the vent and then apply some glue and then put some stuff on each corner of the hood to apply weight and uh, hopefully it works. So this is gonna make you guys cringe but hey it's getting the job done. So I got two jack stands holding up the fiberglass and then I got a tool bag and a coolant bottle holding the uh, hood down so it's uh, it's it's kind of working so you gotta do what you gotta do right? So I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes. It says fast dry, so yeah, 30 minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna take all this off and then probably call it a day because it's getting dark and I don't think I have time for Bondo today. But before I call it a day, I forgot to mention, new merch, go check out the website. What is up guys, welcome back to day two and uh, the glue has finally settled. It's nice and secure, so you guys know what time it is. Bondo time. Are you ready to see Vu? Age 60. <laughs> so, this is how I look like Jackie Chan. <laughs> Wait, show me with a beard. <laughs> Yo. Let me, let me see you. Let me no. see you. Let me see AOG. Yeah. Alright, she grow a beard. <laughs> Let me see your manager. <laughs> Ooh. Oh shit, that about the right one. Alright guys, so usually usually Bondo dries up in about like five, six hours, but since I messed up and I didn't put enough uh, cream hardener, I gotta give it some more time. But it's looking good though. Uh, I ran out of sandpaper, so I'm gonna head to Home Depot real quick, pick up some more and then uh, give it some more time. I've never did a bundle job like this before, like something that this big. So I guess I miscalculated and I didn't put I didn't put enough cream hardener. So it's gonna dry eventually. Hopefully it dries by tomorrow. So we're gonna continue this tomorrow. I'm supposed to get this done today, but oh well. I'll extend this video one more day. But for the meantime, I guess we're gonna sand down the hood because the hood is gonna get uh, either painted or wrapped um, after this project is done. So uh, let me know in the comments below what color should I wrap this hood I kind of want to do carbon fiber but I know a lot of I know the internet's gonna hate me for it but uh, yeah let me know in the comments below uh, I'm gonna go back to sanding and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow all right guys back with day two and the bono looks like it's fully dry perfect so let's sand her down and then give it one more and hopefully we can call it a day yeah <laughs> Yo, what the hell? 
My shit broke. All right, cool. Second layer of Bondo is fully dried, but I have to stop by Home Depot because this freaking stupid ass thing had a break on me. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm actually trying to fix this old piece by putting glue underneath the Velcro, but I was at Walmart and it's only 20 bucks. So I just picked up a new one. It's looking clean, baby. What do you guys think? You guys think it's gonna turn out nice? Let me know in the comments below. Doesn't look like I'm gonna finish today. Uh, I might, I have some extra uh, wrap that I use on the 240. I might wrap the 240 with that instead of carbon fiber, just for now, we'll see. But um, as, soon, as soon as I'm done wrapping, I'm not wrapping, as soon as I'm done sanding, we're gonna hit it with some body filler. And then uh, after that, I think it's ready to wrap. All right, so Tony, the man himself, is gonna help me out. I really suck at uh, applying Bixi. Bondo. <laughs> oh yeah, mixing too. Yeah, because the first time I applied Bondo, it took over, I waited overnight and it still didn't dry. Because not enough hardener. And then when I put too much hardener, it dries out in like two seconds. Yeah. They should have like a measurement tool or something. or something. No, they don't. We're gonna use all of it? No, not all of it. And uh, keep your spatulas, clean, spatulas yeah. clean. Well, people usually t tape it. So oh. they just take up the tape. Oh. Yeah. What the hell? That's a good ass idea. I didn't even know that. I go through so many. Whoa. Took me. Oh. oh, technique. Body filler is all done. Let's give it some time to dry. But since the sun is gone, uh, I guess I'm just gonna hit it with the heat gun. Get this dried up as soon as possible. <laughs> There you go. Okay. All right, so AutoZone did not have glaze putty, so that's gonna be for tomorrow's video. Sorry guys, I hate making two-part videos, but I got no choice. But for now, uh, I got the tools out. We're gonna cut out the vents, sand this down, and then call it a day. Okay guys, so hood vents are all cut out. All I gotta do now is just hit it with this file for another hour or two. But unfortunately, my camera's about to die, so I'm gonna end the video right here. This is gonna be a two-part video. I'm sorry, but it's gonna be like that because there's no way I could get this done in in one video. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you guys like the hood vent. It's gonna look sick, I promise. Uh, with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.